BMW diesel models utilize a selective catalytic reduction SCR system. This system reduces NOx gas emissions to near zero during normal driving conditions. AdBlue, a urea mixture, is sprayed into the catalyst to perform this NOx gas reduction. 2015 BMW X5 F15 models use a two-tank urea system, one active tank to feed the catalyst and one passive tank to store additional fluid. There is a transfer pump between the tanks to keep the active tank full. This transfer pump can fail, causing incorrect urea levels. iScan BMW diagnostic software has a built-in service function to perform a transfer test. This test can be used to confirm the pump is functioning. In this video, we'll show you how to do this test as well as some testing tips for the transfer pump. Before beginning, be sure you're connected to a suitable vehicle power supply. Remember to clear any stored fault codes before you begin. Tap Diagnostic. Tap Euro. Tap BMW. Tap Service Function. Tap Auto Detect Models. Read and confirm message on screen. Press Enter to continue. Vehicle will automatically be identified. Press Enter to continue. Tap Service Function. Tap Drive. Scroll to and tap SCR System. Tap Activate Recirculation Pump. Tap Activate Recirculation Pump to begin function. In the next step, the recirculating pump is activated until the active tank is full. If the fluid level of the active tank changes, this means the fluid line is bled. This may take a few minutes. Press Enter to continue. The transfer pump is activated until the active tank level reaches 98%. Press Enter to continue. If the pump transfers fluid normally, you can assume it's functioning. Tap End Service Function. Press Enter. If the active tank level does not change during the service function, you'll want to test the transfer pump circuit. The transfer pump is connected to the SCR control module via a two-wire circuit, battery positive volts, and a negative control. To test, access the pump. It is located at the left side, under the vehicle, about halfway back. You'll have to remove some lower splash shields to access it. Once at the pump, you'll test the circuit. You can confirm the pump is being activated by listening or feeling the pump itself. BMW states a voltage range from 8 to 16 volts. This will deliver about 20 liters of fluid an hour. We'll assume BMW is referring to testing with a DVOM, measuring average circuit voltage. You can also test the circuit using a scope. In this example, I'm connected to the transfer pump positive and negative feed on channels one and two respectively, and a low current probe set to 20 amps on channel three. Using your iScan device, activate the transfer pump function. Yellow trace shows battery voltage supplied to the pump. The red trace shows ground control of the pump. And the green trace shows circuit current when the pump is activated. The pump is drawing a little less than two amps. BMW says to expect about three. The example shown is a good control circuit with a normally operating electrical portion of the pump. This tells us the module and the wiring is good, but the pump diaphragm has failed and is not pumping fluid. This 2015 X5 will need a new transfer pump. Check out our other videos and articles for more helpful tips and procedures for BMW vehicles.